What's up you guys? I'm back at it again with another Defender 110. You guessed it. Fortunately, they're getting a little bit more difficult to find. So these videos are coming far and few between. Here I have a 93 or 94, I can't remember. I believe on the title it's a 93. 110, 2.5 liter, four cylinder, gasoline, five speed manual. As you can see, the grill has been upgraded for a more modern look, as well as the headlights and their surroundings. There's a winch built into the bumper, which is nice because it does not come out. 14 or 16 inches is how the winches do, so parking is not a nightmare in this. Has a little bit of upgraded wheels, suspension. Take a look, I'll show you all around. Pop the hood. It's pretty bright out right now as you can see by the daylight, but you can still see the headlights and the LEDs, which is a huge factor on these old defenders. Hood's still locked, so I'll show you guys the hood in a minute, but you can hear it run, it run, runs perfect. So you run this wheel well while we're still out here. Tinted black windows. Black pipe running boards, black wheels, yellow springs. Incredible condition as all of my defenders are. You guys already know this drill. It's just a hot looking car. You have LEDs in the top there, reversing LEDs. I'm sure one of them, I believe the left one is the reversing LED and the right one is just a ancillary button, switch, flip. You have those docking planks in the back. A step to get into the fifth door, fifth wheel. I'll probably put a fifth wheel cover on it. Cool, very blacked out look. I actually may be wrong on those LEDs altogether. It looks like that bottom is the reversing LED. And those are just ancillaries that were just added to it. I'll show you guys inside all around. It's a beautiful interior. Super low mileage, as you can see, is the snorkel here, LED bar up there. Let me show you inside this guy. Your beautiful, we'll call it tan orange interior. It's honestly gorgeous. Uh, there's a space for your radio, there's no radio in now. I will show you the speakers though in the back. Back, ah, there, you can't see now. I'll show you all around here. I actually got some, uh, let's see mud flaps to make this look even more sexy so here's a bunch of mud flaps a starter just in case even though it starts fine here's the rear now this is all a part i'll climb in here to show you guys so here's a speaker here's a speaker here's like the speaker board got your benches all lined to match the interior an extra big boy battery more benches and then you have some room in here which is very nice. And I'm almost positive that you can get under into here if I open that fifth door, which I believe at this moment in time is locked. But right now I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour. There's the wind closing the door for me, thank you. Of this beautiful car. I'll show you the miles. It's like 68,000 kilometers, something absolutely hilariously low. That's why the engine is running without it. Even a single hiccup here in the background. It's gonna give you guys another 360 drum closes. I'm gonna shift a little bit for you, pop the hood, show you underneath. And then what do you look? You guys is gonna buy this bad boy. And I'm gonna have to do my best to search for more. So as you can see, the gauges are working. Let me take the lights off. Turn the lights off so I don't kill the battery, which is a common problem. The battery looks in, in good condition though. Coolant is working, gas is halfway full, and then you have like 60,000 kilometers on the dash, which is just hilarious. This is actually a nice little uh, glove compartment area because it's so large, you have a fire extinguisher there. I'm not sure why, but it's a cool little addition. If 
plastic manual gearbox like I was telling you the usual differential switches there's a bunch of winch stuff in your glove box and a rag just because everybody needs a rag so I can pop the hood right now there goes the hood so I'll show you guys that in a second I'm just gonna put it in first take the park brake off Beautifully shifting vehicle. I'm gonna try and just let me see. Stop for you. Actually, here I'll reverse first. You can see that there's no one behind me. It does have power steering, which is a huge plus for low speeds. Parking brake light is on, so the dash is working. Enjoy.